<laughs> anyway, let's uh, move on to uh, the next one, which is sleepwalking. You know, <laughs> after the song, you know, uh, Wake Up, which was a, you know, guitar driven uh, type of song, you have this, this, this one that is like completely driven by synths. <laughs> and it's like, I was, I, honestly, I was not expecting that right after, you know, Wake Up. Uh, that's why, you know, I like uh, Dreamcatcher because, like, you, you never expect anything in their, uh, you know, EP. <laughs> and I love it. Like, this is such, like, you know, like they do, I do have that a lot, like th those kind of song. But I feel like this one, it's the first time I'm hearing like, I don't know how to explain that. But I mean, it's like you know, kind of techno dubstep slash EDM vibe. You know, uh, all of that. I mean, they did that before, but uh, so maybe it's just me. Like I don't remember everything, I guess. But like, this song seems still different in terms of like. EDM-ish, like, dubstep type of song. Uh, and, you know, obviously, because it's, like, EDM and, and dubstep slash techno, whatever, um, it's 
a lot of electronic sound, a lot of like synths going on, and you know, samples and stuff. And you know, let's just walk, uh, listen to it <laughs> because I, 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 you know, I was like reading sleepwalking and I said walk, but、uh, let's listen to it again. <laughs> Things happening like all the synth sound, you know, all the electronic sound is just like everywhere. And you know, obviously, that beat, you know, it's just like so typical.、Uh, it is EDM, but especially dubstep, actually. Like wake up and sleepwalking don't doesn't have like、uh, any rap. Like Dami is not rapping at all in those songs. And Fly Hide, I don't remember Fly Hide entirely. But I do think she has a rap part in Fly Hide. Not sure. <laughs>、uh, correct me if my, if I'm wrong.、Um, but so far, yeah, like those two at least don't have any rapping part. <laughs> Which is also, you know, a bit different because you know、uh, I'm used to having, you know, my dummy、uh, rapping part at some point, but you know these two don't don't have it. I love all the sound, like, I, like I mean, you hear it, like you know, there's so many, you know, different type of like.、Um, Sense in, in in electronic sound like do 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 do, and then you have the beat as well, like being like really like tum 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 tum. Like it's just like typical, you know, of those type of song. But just I just love it. It's there's so much, so many things happening. It's like the build-up is so freaking good, like because you know the pace is like picking up. It's like dun, dun, like you can hear it, like it's like like the 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 snare like sound like a and then it's gonna like build up. I mean, actually, it's the same pace, but it's just like the beat is like. On it now. I mean the the how to say that the、um, it's accentuated with with the beat.、Uh, before it was only the snare, but then it, now it's like the the beat as well. It's like、uh, it's just, the build up is good. Funny because the chorus here, you don't have any like singing. It's like purely, you know, just EDM dubstep, like right, or just for you to listen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is part of the chorus, I guess, as well. But you know, the that build up. I don't know if it's a pre-chorus then. If I can count that as a pre-chorus, that that you know, instrument instrumental part without singing, I guess yeah, I guess it is more of the pre-chorus then. But it's just funny because like, the part I was like thinking of like the pre-chorus, you know, with the build-up, you have a drop, you know, like the drop is the instrumental part without the singing. So I don't know if I can like, I don't know how to really.、Uh, Consider that part like that freaking, or maybe like the instrumental part is the pre-chorus. Because to me, the pre-chorus start there, like you know, with the build up, like the this fast pace pace、uh, part. For me, that's that's the 
drop and then you have like the the instrumental part like the doo 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 Post chorus than the 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 part where they sing. I mean, it can be like a, a chorus in two parts because if you listen closely, that like um, part where there was no singing, the instrumental part is actually repeating, and then you have. Uh, the girl singing on it so they just doubled that part but you know they made it like less you know dominant and then added like the lyrics here so it can be yeah I guess a double chorus is <laughs> I don't know how to call that <laughs> because it's exactly yeah it's exactly the same if you hear like the instrumental like in behind it's like the same <laughs> Like, you know, uh, meow, meow, meow. like with the effect on the voice, it's just like it's just detail, but you know, like it. For me. I love this. Like all the effects on the voices, like that you know makes the type of EDM dubstep type of song. I love it. It's just like the. And then you, they added like the siren. It's like making the 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 pace, not the pace, but like the sensation of like urgency even more you know uh because the song is already like you know the pace is like uh you know fast so you know with the sirens on like it feels even faster in a sense <laughs> that part was added like there was like even the instrumental part was like even longer here in the second uh, chorus and they added more uh, it's a completely different chorus but you know it's um, I mean I, I do like it it's not you know just A B A B you know it's like A B A B A B C you know A whatever <laughs> I'm like so bad at that just love it guys um, I love it anyway <laughs> we're going on to uh, the last song which I actually don't know how to pronounce because it's written in Korean so let me just like uh, try to, to to see what's the um, what's the what's the translation because I'm like I don't know <laughs> It's okay. Quenchana. I feel like I know that song as well. Maybe. Maybe not, but you know. 
Maybe I, I got spoiled in a concert as well. <laughs> Not sure. But anyway, let me just listen to it with my headphones on first. But, you know, it's the usual uh, way of finishing an EP on the uh, more, you know, slow song, uh, ballad type of song. This is actually rock ballad because uh, the guitars are still here. Um, and I loved it. It was beautiful. Uh, so I just want to listen to it again. Listen to Quinchana. And I actually, I didn't know that song. I thought I knew because, you know, the, um, the title was like familiar but it, it was not <laughs> so it was completely new uh, and I didn't got uh, spoiled uh, for this song <laughs> okay. to be quite honest I don't have anything much to say on this song because it's just beautiful first and also it's just like you know again a kind of like typical uh, basic like instrument type of song because it's guitars, bass, drums. You have a piano actually as well, um, and not a synth like a real piano, like the ding ding. I mean, we'll we'll listen to that. Uh, but 
and the vocals are amazing like the 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 vocals are actually really really beautiful and the harmonies and the ad libs and, and that I think it's Chion obviously but I, I think <laughs> because she's the main vocal but doing like that high note at some point okay let's just let's just listen and actually I mean we we're gonna you know go to that but like we have a, a rap part in this song <laughs> which I was not expecting in a ballad but you know I like it <laughs> I just love the, all this, like, for me, those type of, like, sliding of the guitar, like, it just makes me think, I, don't ask me why, it's just, like, random, you know, it's, it's just me being random as usual, uh, it makes me think of, like, the whales type of, like, you know, how they they communicate you know the it just make me think of that in it in my mind that's equal you know calm and just like you know ocean in like just like being peaceful so this song kind of gave me that vibe you know to me Also, this song as well makes me want to grab a guitar and play it just because it's beautiful. <laughs> you have a piano here. But it's really subtle because it's like just like those, you know, three notes like ding, ding, ding. It's just like, it's not like dominant in the song at all, you know, the guitar is still dominant, but it's just like, just beautiful. This is the rap part. I love it. But you know, it's the kind of chill, you know, rap. It's not really rapping. I mean, it is rapping, but you know, it's because it's like not a, like a fast flow. It's just like the delivery is like you know chill. I love, I love it. I just love it. It just go. I think it goes well actually with the song. I love it. not the right, you know, but it's just beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I love it even more. You have that that high note, 
and it's going on to Handong. And I think, I mean, I love all the girls, you know, all the girls singing, but I have something with with Handong's voice. I love Handong's voice so freaking much. I don't know what it is about Handong's like voice. It just like speak to my heart so much. understand what they say but you know because I feel like at least from the vibe I got I have from the song you know because the the song title is it's okay you know for me it means like you know you're gonna be alright like if even if things are not going your way it's gonna be alright you know I don't know if that's what they saying because you know obviously I don't understand Korean but you know uh, that's the vibe at least I have and I love it. I love the freaking EP a lot, guys. I'm never probably gonna, never gonna have it because it's a prequel, so it must be really, really rare and really, really expensive. <laughs> um, but you know, you never know. I might, you know, buy it even if, it, even if it's expensive, you know, uh, because you know, I love it. I love it. like the EP. I love it. I mean. Is it a surprise? Not nah, because it's it's freaking dream catcher, so it's not a surprise. Uh, but I loved all all of them for different reasons, and it's so good. And I will try to find it, you know, uh, uh, not without like you know having to sell my liver to buy it. But <laughs> we never know. Um, but anyway guys, that was today's video, that was today's EP review and listening party. Uh, I love it. I cannot say anything else and yeah. Thank you so much guys for listening to this with me. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video. And yeah, see ya.